It's your favorite loke, especially after I spoke. Support the real again. Get rid of the fake, the F you to the industry. How do you fight back? It's simple. All you got to do is just press subscribe, then join the movement over there on Instagram at C-E-D-D-Y-N-A-S-H. One word. That's for you and I can stay in contact. Plus, I'm going to like your pictures and all that. We have 75,000, so we done matched. But when I can, I'm going to follow you back. To the crew, that's the truth. We're out with the visionaries. Let's get into it. But first night, we are following breaking news, a developing story in Cobb County. We have more information now about the shooting incident at Cumberland Mall. A police spokesperson says two people were shot. One of the victims is a child. We do not know the exact age just yet, and just that uh, he or she is of elementary school age. The other victim is an adult male. Police tell us the vehicles involved in this dispute took off shortly after the shooting happened. The spokesperson says both victims were shot in the leg. We will, of course, continue to update you on this story as we learn more. It will be on primetime as well as on the 11 Alive News app. Now, there are a ton of theories that are going out there. I, the little bro said that cuz hopped out with the wop out and dropped his phone. <laughs> That's crazy if that's true. And if it did happen, let me say this. <sighs> we either learn from history or become a part of a footnote that makes history for others to learn from. That's pretty much all I can say on that. There's another theory that's out there that says that Cuz got snitched on. They said the people that got hit yeah, them cats, they told. Then, there's a theory out there. And this is all a legend, bro, so I'm not saying nothing. I'm just speaking on what's already out there. That's why I tell you, I never want to be first with none of this shit. Never. <laughs> never. So that way I don't get all the backlash. I leave that for everybody else. I'm good. The other theory is, is a drug deal going bad? That's what they holler. They holler because the other cats got caught with hella weed and intent to distribute and all that and everything like that. That That's what happened. It was a whole entire drug deal that went wrong. And y'all know when drug deals go bad, according to the movies, everybody get the up in the blicks out and sticks out and dicks out and braca. Now, at first... When I seen the news that Cuz was arrested, I'm like, bruh, these Atlanta niggas about to put a no-fly zone in here. But now that I see that it's cats that's messing with other cats and everybody co-mingling and everything like that, it's kind of like, that ain't going to happen. Because as long as I'm getting some bread, I ain't tripping on what you're doing as long as y'all give my cut. I'm, let me say this about Atlanta. And I love Atlanta. I'm being Atlanta the mall. You'll get your ass robbed in Atlanta. Them, they will break into your car just to take a lighter. And they'll be walking around, just smash your windows. Oh, nigga, that's a nice lighter. This mine. It's because they can. Niggas get jacked in Atlanta every day, B. But at the same time, don't think just because they robbing cats that they won't hit nothing. Now, the main cats who got arrested at first... The main cats who got arrested at first, they all from Georgia. One from Fairburn, one from Atlanta and everything like that, which Fairburn isn't too far from the A anyways. So that should tell you all something right there. Let me tell you young as this. When you sitting, <laughs> not even when you sitting, when you get arrested and everything like that and they put them metal bracelets on you, and they're going to tighten it. They always do. They always do. It don't even matter what the hell you're doing. They're always going to tighten it. And you're on your way there. A couple thoughts start going in your head. Like, how am I going to get out of this? That's the first thing. Well, at least when I got arrested, that's the first thing. Like, damn, how am I going to get out of this? The second thing you start doing is, I wonder if these other niggas going to tell. Because everybody say they solid, but we done seen the cookie crumble more than a couple of times. So, we're going to see, bro. It's just one of those things where you don't know what the fuck the other person's going to say. So, you can't even say what you really, truly want to say. Like, nigga, I'm the realest nigga out here and all this and everything. Nah, you're not. You're only as real as your team is. 
Because if your team ain't solid and you don't only solid one, you look like a dummy. Whole goofy out here. So I don't know, bro. It's it's interesting. It's interesting because the three theories are insane. But we'll see, man. We don't know nothing. I don't even, you know, we, we barely know anything about any of this shit. And anybody who tell you they know more, I'm going to be honest. All right, but just be careful. Be careful. There's certain ways which we got to do. And that's not no shot at nobody that I know. But from the other blogs, because the people I know, they all do it the right way. Like, it's a lesson in the shit he be saying. You other cats that's out here that's speaking on this shit and the way in which y'all doing it, bro, let me tell y'all something. These rappers watch y'all little blogs. They look up their names. They go to YouTube and they search their names. And they look at what y'all saying. Trust me when I tell you this. I don't care if you got 400 subscribers or 400,000 subscribers. They look at this shit to see exactly what the hell y'all saying. So just be careful. That's all I'm going to tell you young new ones out here. Because I see I seen like 10 videos on this shit. And I'm like, bruh. <laughs> be careful. You better be built for this shit. Y'all expect me to keep it real? Because you know that I will. I do this daily, baby. Check out the Nightly Nash podcast. Also, Street the Music, Setting Nash, if you have not. It's on all streaming platforms. Guaranteed you're going to find something you like. Probably like that overly thugging freestyle. Or maybe something different. Let me know in the comments. We possibly shoot that music video. Oh, you want to learn how to win that free Xbox or PlayStation or concert tickets? Or just a gift card in general? Simple. Be an active subscriber. What does that mean? The more you like, the more you comment, the more you share these videos, the higher your chances are increased to win. Simple. We're going to give away that specific item that you choose at 60,000 subscribers. That's six zero. Make sure, make sure you increase your chances to win. This is free to y'all. It's only costing me. And I'm going to personally deliver it to you. How you like the sound of that? Cool. Catch you at the next video. Check out the previous videos too.